I was born into slavery, deprived of any right, of any faith. I was sold, traded for labor, forced to watch the suffering, treated like a beast of burden. With no future ahead of me, I forged my own, and I knew blood would be the price. I never looked back, never wanted to, never had to, until now. is with the Templar Admiral on the lead ship, Captain. Once he gives the orders, it will be lost. The parcel itself is less interesting than its intended recipient. Let's eliminate this errand boy, Admiral, and unmask the true Templar threat. Fire! When I became an assassin, I swore to leave piracy behind. But the old methods have served the creed more than once. Everything is strong for us. Ah. Aye. And often necessary. Is anyone in charge here? What traitor attack? Just keep your eyes and be ready for anything. Stay below, sir! Bastien Joseph, Port-au-Prince. What business do Templars have there? Captain! More French vessels at our tail! Too many! We'll retreat through the storm! We will be smashed ashore! A worse fate awaits if we let this land in Templar hands! Captain!
Saltrui Non Ça te coûtera une oreille Bajol. Oh, merci, mon Dieu. Désolé. I have nothing to offer but thanks. Nothing else is needed. As a boy, I fled the same fate. Why would you risk recapture? Men of principle know the bigger risk is to turn away. I'm looking for Bastien Joseph. Do you know her? Moi même. Pas qu'on elle. But any fine gentleman may lead you to her. Too late for this one. Find another in town. The thanks is now mine. Do you have a place of refuge? My family waits in the mountains. Demon, gemon! Que Dieu soit avec vous! Thank you, God, for sending this man to rescue me. Make your answer, Sasquatch. would be safer for it. Monsieur Gouverneur, they felt safe at the plantation. Do you think they would rebel? <laughs> of course. Violence is the only currency that motivates them. Like going to you. If you really want to protect your African friends, spread the word. Quiet them down. Advice. You need not describe. I know. I will deliver your message. The cost will be high. We will both profit by it. Is there any other service you require? Gouverneur. Oh, an old man like me. I dare say Guzan has exhausted me already. Then show yourself out. Madame Joseph, expecting a package. It, but not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. And do you mean for me to meet the same fate? Look around. One threat, and these men will end you. I bring no threat. Tell me, how do the Templars allow you to carry on like this? <laughs> I am only the messenger. But before you judge, remember, the Templar's coin, like any, will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this, Mark. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor. 
and an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I think the storm stranded you. What do you need? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. And perhaps something can be arranged. Is this your game? Very well. And you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. First find his plantation contact and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Sili patutu krabla va manje. Sili patutu krabla va manje. Pas mal. A convincing baritone. Now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious. Man is down that path. Thank you, sister. Yeah, little Don't thank me until the sun goes down. Augustine, dear fall. <laughs> Blandi sans fait. Bon Dieu fait sans dit. The French governor is two faced. Bastien helps as she can, but Marron independence is long to build. <sighs> Longer now. A warrior like you would be a great asset to our cause. With due respect, I serve a different brotherhood and I'm honor bound to return as soon as I find the means. But only the Iowa know when that will be. Meantime, 
I have sanctuary and weapons to share. Perhaps our needs may align for a time. What do you need? Recruits. Liberated slaves. The warriors among them join me. The others grow the community for which we fight. Titafti, Wazo Fesoni. I suppose I might lend a hand for a time. Titibashi. I will see that you are rewarded for whatever you can give. Best begin soon. There's much to do. Every day, more slaves arrive. Human cargo makes for lucrative trade. I once hoped men of education could be made to see the cost. The profit makes them ignorant. With the right vessel, you could intercept the slave ships before they arrive. Or you would be free to leave. You have already paid more than your share to the Mahon of saint -Domain. And I am no master. I cannot choose for you. This brigantine can meet your needs, if you could relieve it of its crew. Bastien has volunteered her woman to draw the men away. Or you could set this tower light to distract them. Excellent options, all of them. What's this? Firecrackers. Some of your recruits salvaged them. It's only right that you should use them. Excellent. Once you send me a signal, I will send our men to join you. As much sail as you can! Augustin, I'm surprised to see you here. Are you not needed in the headquarters? I can train in order to take my place there. But when you are gone, who will captain this ship? You must teach me. Aye, I will. But you must not call me captain. You are the leader of these men. But you have earned the right. At sea, you will be my captain. How did you come by your knowledge of the sea, Ade? It was my first true home. The buccaneers offered me my first glimpse of freedom, and I took it. I learned by observation. They will not teach you. Nor accepted me as their captain once I had proven myself. Only the assassins offered me real authority. You were born in Trinidad? I, on a plantation. Are there not Maouan there who could use your help? 
I know we are not alone in Saint-Domingue to fight for independence. There could well be. I have not returned to find out. It's over now. You can go. Did you ever hear tell of the Jackdaw, Auguste? Kenway's ship, and mine for some months. Legends tell that she sunk somewhere off the coast of Hispaniola, but none know just where. You believe it is here? More likely I succumb to nostalgia in my age. Extraordinary. The last time I laid eyes on the Jackdaw, I surrendered her back to Kenway and set my mind to leave piracy behind to fight for the assassin cause. She still holds you under her power. She was the first ship to accept me as her captain. Stay here while I see what's up ahead. Stay here. There are a few guards to take care of. Be careful out there. Danger is not over yet. Monsieur Adwelli, the Mayon cause has made an ally of you. Augustine speaks highly of your help. I do not know how much longer I'll be able to continue, but the Maroons are outstanding warriors. Augustine has provided me with everything I might need to get by until I return to my brothers. I believe you owe me a parcel then. Let me hold it a while longer, for safekeeping. You are not a man of your word. My word was perhaps. It stands. How little you must think of me. On the contrary, you have maintained your freedom among the French by the deft handling of your indispensable business. I respect you highly. What would be a fool to trust anyone so clever so soon? What a keen eye and sweet tongue you have. Since you cannot provide me with the one thing I truly desire, I hope to compel you to demonstrate some respect by some other means. I would consider it. I need a careful and observant man to investigate the Gouverneur. I must know what distracts him, and why he enforces the Code Noir ever more strictly. The lives of the slaves depend on it. I share your curiosity. I'll pay you this favor for the slaves. Perhaps... There is some honor in you yet. You will need a disguise. 
Please, change into these. A slave's rags. What do you mean by this indignity? Do you mean to see me recaptured? Indignity? Do you hold your enslaved brothers in such low esteem? Do you hold any man in high esteem? Or are we all pawns to you? <laughs> you should be so lucky. There is no trick. It is only that... Well... The governor de Fayette will host a soirée soon. And imagine... I am not invited. <laughs> the excess of the occasion calls for an abundance of supplies to be delivered to his mansion. That's where you come in. With your crate, you will blend in with the men delivering the goods. Once on the ground, you can spy on the good gouverneur. Will the overseers not notice one man extra? Or are you simply unconcerned for my well-being? <laughs> I've never met an overseer who could tell two slaves apart. Nevertheless, be careful. I sense you are as bright as you are strong. You will figure it out. Yes, ma'am. Here they come. Join the line. Be careful. <gasps> What's going on back there? Fall in line! Are you a friend? This is a joke to you. No. You will get us all killed. Shh. Another fetch for the baby? Shh. You are too complacent. Put the crates down there, cher monsieur. <laughs> All right, enough uh, socializing. Back to work. The grounds must be fit for a king when my guests arrive. These bastards. Both of them should be whipped. I'm a prince, you realize? I'm a prince for putting up with them. What good is complaining? I will remember you said that. Quiet now. Friend, does the guard change often? As often as night moves today. Thank you. If you are a friend, prove it blood. Citizen may cost more than our initial calculations suggested. I heard you gave Bastion's girl a jewel worth more than half the fleet. Does this account for the missing funds? What I do with my purse is my own business. What happened to the funds I released last month? But the science of navigation is expensive. I dare say it is. If you measure every fathom in perfume on silk. If no suitable Spanish vessel is available, could we not use a French ship? Are you trying to start a war? The treaty between our nations is fragile. We cannot afford any suspicion of smuggling. Your name will go down in history with mine if you supply the funds and the ship. Thank you for the offer, but I have an expensive colony to govern. 
With the volume of slaves you import, I'd have thought you'd have gold to spare. Even free labor is not free, my friend. Slaves are expensive to replace. The poor beasts expire before they can reproduce. Even your slave ships benefit from improved navigation. You are accidents. Now that is interesting. Alors, what have you learned? The governor is overconfident. Despite his guard, I could have ended him with my bare hands. He would have deserved it. What makes you believe you need him? I keep my friends close, and my enemies closer. Which camp are you in? Will you tell me what you have learned? Who distracts him? A bold-faced scientist, Godin, hounds the governor for funds. Something about an expedition, navigational secrets. Why is this the first time I hear of him? Is my whole network turned against me? Does the harbor master think I give him my best girls out of kindness? Do you wish me to investigate further? I admit, as a man of the sea, the science of navigation intrigues me. No. Yes. I don't know. As you wish, but leave me, I must think. Bastien, I feel we lost you to the bitterness of depression. Never. Those arrogant men cannot cut me out of my own network. The cost is too great for the slaves. And for your pride. What does it matter, so long as I work for their freedom? Whatever has inspired it, I'm glad to hear the fight back in your voice. How can I help? The scientist, Gouda. What is his full purpose here? Can you find that out? Whatever secrets he carries, I will uncover. Start with the harbor master. He sees everyone who comes and goes. He should have kept me informed. The governor of the Fayette requests that Monsieur Godin's geodesic expedition be equipped with every resource it demands. The first need is rather unusual. Monsieur Godin requires, for reasons of scientific record keeping, three um, literate slaves. Oh, who would have taught them? The Code Noir, Huibitz. Perhaps among your house slaves, uh, such a worker exists? You may communicate it privately. There is a reward. But what will they do? Take notes, I suppose? Can none of the French scientists take notes? Not if they are to carry equipment at the same time. Spain continues to insist the expedition wait for a Spanish ship. But we are allies now. Can they not be persuaded to allow a single French vessel passage in the name of science? We are, after all, allowing Spanish chaperones on board. Signed, Louis Godet. He does not realize the risks of this voyage. I know you. You're the one with the ghost ship. I have a job for you. Hmm. I sense you're looking for information. Meanwhile, I have information. And I'm sure you have some condition for giving it. Yeah. My rival uses slaves to fish three times my hole. If they were freed, the slave that is, I would be so relieved. For their health, of course. <laughs> Uh, what do you want? Strange time to be delivering a message. Does it by any chance concern the expedition that's leaving shortly? Who are you to care? Uh, Tell me what you know, or I will wring it out of you. No! Very well. 
the governor wanted me to tell the harbour master to allow French ship to be sent, rather than a Spanish one, on the condition that uh, certain goods be transported as a as a special favour. The expedition will also be used for smuggling. Well, I wouldn't say it so plainly, but thank you. Good night. Uh... Once the circumference of the Earth is known, we may navigate more precisely and better anticipate the position of the enemy. We will require fewer ships because we will lose fewer ships. Our cannons will aim true and commercially well. You know how it is with pirates and slave ships. We can put an end to nonsense by supporting this expedition. Signed, Gouverneur de Faye. <laughs> there is much at stake here. <laughs> In the territory of Quito, the mountains and plains will favorize our triangulations. Our measurements will allow us to know the exact shape of the Earth. Egg, oval, or globe? Hmm. That is the question. With this knowledge, France and Spain will have the privilege of navigational precision. Won't the Spanish then have too great an advantage at war? was the only way to gain access to Quito. Hmm. They're always one step ahead. Now that we are allies, perhaps we will walk together. Perhaps. Still, I'm surprised they are allowing your expedition through. Are they not worried about smuggling? Oh, probably, but for all their military might, they're not as strong as we are in the sciences. They need you, then. And they are sending us a couple of chaperones. Have you met Antonio de Olua? I hear he's quite the prodigy. Not yet. I'm sure it will be a great pleasure. This good in a while. Alpes! Slaves, this good! Thank you kindly. I did not do it for kindness. The information now. Out with it! Ah. Yes. The harbor master is stockpiling too much cargo for a simple expedition. Too much cargo? Not enough cannons to protect it? It only mean one thing. Smuggling. Thank you. Alors, what did you find? An opportunity beyond imagination. These scientists aim to record navigational secrets for our beloved kings to use at war. But we can seize them to extraordinary advantage for my brotherhood and the Maroon. We need only supply literate recruits, and the rest will take care of itself. That is all. Nothing more on the governor. That is all? <laughs> that is everything! How many more could be freed with this knowledge in our hands? All things require balance, Adewale. To achieve independence, the Mayon require stability, anonymity, and information. That has always been my role. What now? That is what I thought. The storm brought you in. And you will leave on the tempest of opportunity and imagination. And I will be left here to do what I can. Powerless. No, any day now the Maroons will rise up. Then I will leave, not before I've decided. You are as arrogant as the French. Bria, all of you. That is all you are. Bastien? No, go now. Adewale, your ambition still gives me pause, but I promised Augusta my help. What's this? The 
forge manifests. Or so I am told. One of your famous recruits wrote it. Joaquim Francois. Henry Marchand. Fortuné Jean. Good. I'm sure you will serve the expedition well. Louis Gaudin will meet with the harbor master to arrange the remaining affairs of your expeditionary voyage. You may take the opportunity to switch the manifest. At your signal, we will be ready to board. Thank you. And thank you, Bastien. Anything for the Mahon of Saint Domingue. Defend that ship. French or not, these scientists must reach their destination. Our people must capture their secrets. The knowledge is more important than any cargo. Aye, Captain. He's worth the fight. With a little skill in the right wind, it won't last long. Fire! Ready to douse all but names! Ade, Augustin has learned of another slave ship to intercept. I beg you to reconsider. Special orders from the sometimes confidant the governor. No, it is as I feared. With all the slaves you have freed, the French are in panic. Let the French live in the fear they earned. It is not so simple. Curfews are strict. Punishments are harsher and more frequent. You help the ones you freed, but at what cost to the ones you can't? A small price for independence. The sooner Augustine's revolution comes, the sooner all slaves will live in peace as free people. Gouverneur de Fayette threatens retaliation. And he is behind this. No, Adwali... Not another word. I don't want to hear it. In your priorities... Did you cross many slave ships? More than a few. But when I sailed with Kenway, plunder was the only prize. Plunder or information leading to more plunder. Did you never wish to intervene? It is wise for a quartermaster to keep his wishes to himself, if he also wishes to remain as quartermaster. But yes, the thought did cross my mind. When the assassins offered me the opportunity to pursue more serious aims, I left the plundering behind. But the slave ships also? No, for I am still an assassin, and I have found them again. I would not trade my years as a pirate for anything. You enjoyed your freedom. They hardened me for the work we do today. And when I am done, you will also have pirates to thank for your training. Yes, Captain. No! They'll sink the ship! I think we must act fast! Up the fire! Run on every inch of air! I'll go below. Return to the ship and prepare to receive survivors.
gouverneur de Fayette. I thought I understood his indifference. I did not anticipate the extent of his heartlessness. He tried to warn me. We are all guilty. The governor will pay with his own life. My creed demands that I see to it. C'est la main. C'est raté. Revenge is called comfort. Once the fire is gone, another tyrant will take his place. His death must give this generation of warriors hope. They must not abandon the goal of independence. And the death of these souls? So, they lead new life. We will always mourn them. I believe it is time. The governor grows complacent. His guards lazy. They have already forgotten the terror they wrought. I will remind them. Once you have removed the fire, you will no longer be safe here. Nor will the Maroons be if I stay. It will bring me sadness to see you go. We will meet again to celebrate Maroon independence. You know well the grounds of the governor's residence. Choose your moment. Do not get caught. Help! <laughs> Who will come to your rescue? Your slaves? The overseers who follow your orders? Pathetic. What kind of man does not fight for himself? Why? I have killed many men on principle, but never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you. To understand what it is to gasp and beg for your life. Like the innocents you drowned. You mean those slaves? That ship! But they are not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. Murder! <laughs> like you. I only wish that were true. <laughs> done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh. After all this time, he lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light at a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins and whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to serve this to. I will keep it for memory.
Marcher dans la nuit, tout pas de chance. Marcher à de la sirène, mal arrivé moi. Marcher dans la nuit, tout pas de chance. Marcher à de la sirène, mal arrivé moi. Yon seul petit petit, moi gagne, mon beau la sirène, oui. Yon seul petit diamant, moi gagne, mon beau la sirène, oui. Ma pérelle, la sirène, oui. Ma pérelle, la baleine, oui. Kade machi mwen you know ma le rive mwen agoe Marche à de la baleine, mal arrivé moi. Marche moi, you know, m'bagain chance. Marche à de la sirène, mal arrivé moi. Yon sel ti petit, moi gain, mambo la sirène ou. Yon sel ti jama, moi gain, mambo la sirène ou. Ma pérelle, la sirène ou. Ma pérelle, la baleine ou. Gade marche moi, you know, mal arrivé moi. Jazz. Do sou ma 
sama sama Mwenzi dosu ma sama sama De la de la de
ciencia me mueve Ciencia Se un meme qui voye el Ciencia me mueve Ciencia me mueve Ciencia me mueve Sa wapim nan pwese Vitim pou male